What's up guys, it's your boy, the one and only Animan here, and today we'll be talking about the top 10 power awakening moments in anime. Now one thing is for sure, the whole anime can be filled with unlikable characters, predictable plots, and cheesy dialogue. But if it has a very cool power awakening scene, then for that one moment, we could even forget how bad that anime is and actually enjoy the moment. So without further ado, let's get into the list. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon as so it is all to be notified about our latest videos. Also, small warning, the video contains minor spoilers. <laughs> The first moment on our list is when Mob powered up to defeat Koyama from Mob Psycho 100. In the world of Mob Psycho 100, supernatural beings known as Espers exist who have psychic powers, and the protagonist, Mob, was blessed with superior strength as compared to a normal Esper. Now there are multiple moments where Mob fires up his strength, but this one was special because his brother was about to be kidnapped and even though initially he was losing the fight because as a sweet kind kid he is, he normally doesn't want to hurt anyone. But realizing the opponent in front of him was a serious threat to him and his brother, he rages out and uses 100% of his powers in pure hate for the enemy. <laughs> Now the thing that makes this moment amazing is that not only does he rarely use 100% of his power, but it's also rare for him to approach anyone with such rage and hate in his eyes deserving it a spot on our list. The next scene on our list is from Naruto. And I really was thinking not to include this in the list because my channel is more about other anime rather than some of the overly popular anime like Dragon Ball and Bleach. But this scene was just too good to ignore. The scene I'm talking about is when Kakashi and Obito awaken their Mangeku, Sharingan. There's just so much beauty to the scene. Kakashi ripped a hole through his friend Rin for the greater good. Obito made it in time just to see it, giving them both the power of the Mangeku, Sharingan. <laughs> Kakashi would spend such a huge portion of his life regretting his deed, and Obito would be given the development that would forge his ideals. It was this moment that Obito truly turned from a bright boy to one of the main antagonists of the series. This scene definitely deserves a spot on our list. <laughs> Awakening on this list is from the fight between Wangling and Killer Commander, taking from the anime the daily life of a mortal king. Now, this is another one of those anime where the MC is way too overpowered and actually never had to use his full power. But when the girl he loved died in front of him at the hands of the Killer Commander, it didn't matter whether he had to use his full power to destroy the Killer Commander or not. He became so indulged in rage and hatred that he unleashed his full power right there just to avenge Sun Rong. In addition to being a great power awakening scene in anime, this has also got to be one of the best rage scenes in anime history. Even Wang's voice had changed so much when he was in rage mode. <laughs> like seriously, it was even creepier than Eren's titan scream. He had a smile on his face the entire time he was pinning the killer commander down with his blows clearly showing how he was enjoying butchering the hell out of her. This scene definitely takes a spot on our list. The next scene on this list is from Blue Exorcist, and it's when the protagonist Reen learns to control his satanic powers. Now I know what you're all thinking. This is him controlling it, not awakening it. Now you really can't call a power yours if you can't control it, right? 
and to top it off, when Rain learned to control his powers, he became a far deadlier foe, so I think I can categorize this control as awakening. Rain lived most of his life thinking he was a normal kid, and one day it was revealed to him that he was the son of Satan and his power was suppressed in a sword. The power was satanic, of course, and threatened to take over his rationality. When he unleashed his powers, he did begin to lose sight of who he is as the power of Satan began to take control of him, but ultimately, he came out strong. All the memories he cherished for his friends reminded him as to why he was fighting with the human race despite being the son of Satan. At the end of the day, it was his choice to become who he is, and that was beautiful. The way this moment discusses the theme, we are who we choose to be, is truly a work of art. The next anime on our list is from the anime Madoka Magica, and it's from none other than when Madoka becomes a magical girl. Now, Madoka initially had her doubts about becoming a magical girl in the first place. She is the kind who cries about a lot of things and has a hard time getting over them. This transformation into a magical girl is proof of her development into a stronger person mentally, emotionally, and of course, physically. The visual and the animation of the moment were top-notch, and perhaps the best thing that this transformation speaks is that change is possible and there is always hope. The next moment on our list is Emiya Awakening Unlimited Blade Works from the anime Fate Stay Night. Unlimited Blade Works. Now in the original Fate Stay Night, Shiro was pretty much a cliché dumb protagonist who just wanted to help others and become a hero officially proving his IQ to be below average. Although his ideology in the Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works was somewhat similar, the execution of it was very well done. Archer tried to deny and prove Shiro's view about reality wrong over and over, but he stuck to his ideals and his determination, ultimately allowing him to awaken the unlimited blade work. The philosophical conflict between Archer and Shiro, combined with Ufa Table's top-notch animation, gave this moment a spot on our list. <laughs> The next moment on our list is when Reiner Loot awakens Alpha Stigma to save his friends. What a better time to awaken your power when your allies are being beaten by a bunch of enemy soldiers, am I right? Reiner Loot awakened his hidden power with a BAM! He didn't just defeat all his enemies, he annihilated them in absolute rage and hate, which is one of the reasons that made the scene so damn amazing. While he was killing all those people, he uttered these words. First comes destruction. I create nothing, save nothing. I just erase completely. This is bound to send chills down anyone's spine. The next moment we have on our list is from the anime God of High School. As an anime that focuses on one-on-one -on -one battles, it has quite a few moments where the MC Jean Mori reaches a new threshold of power. There is one, however, that stands out, and that's the awakening that happens in the fight between Jean Mori and Jekyll Take. The awakening is literally in the name of the title itself. Yup, you guessed it. He literally obtains the power of a god. The other thing that stood out in this moment was the animation. Awakening on this list, it's from the anime Zetman, and it's none other than when Jean transforms into Red Zetman. The anime may have butchered the story of the original source manga, but there is no denying that this is the one thing that it did with absolute perfection. Jean could initially turn into only the white Zetman that wasn't all that powerful. The transformation was also slow and could only be accelerated if he were extremely angry. So when he first harnessed his powers completely and became the Red Zetman, or in other words, his complete form that was a magnificent sight to behold. The animation was top-notch, not to mention the soundtrack was absolutely mesmerizing. All these amazing qualities combined makes this scene deserve a spot on our list. The 
Our last, but definitely not the least moment on our list is from the end of Evangelion, Shinji awakening his power. Now in this anime, the fruit of wisdom is held by man, and the fruit of life is held by angels. And since in the final scene, our depressed protagonist had both, he became a god with the power to decide the future of mankind. Seriously though, and here I am, a depressed kid who can't even make a girlfriend, and Shinji became a virgin god. Funny how things can work anyway. Anyway, the whole transformation scene where we get to see how Shinji is in a state of conflict with himself as to what to do. The visuals. Oh my god, they were perfect. The animation was done beautifully. The soundtrack couldn't have been any better for an emerging god deciding the fate of mankind. But the best part of the moment was actually how mysterious it was. We have wannabe intellectuals all over the internet debating as to what actually happened after Shinji became a god. I really love this element that just keeps the viewers thinking after the show, and this alone makes it deserve a spot on our list. Well folks, that wraps up this list, and if you've watched this video up to this point, I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it. Or else you would have left by now, so why not go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, then become an Animan member today, and enjoy exclusive content that I make for members only. Don't forget to comment down below your top 10 Power Awakening moments, and as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.